welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to translate your WooCommerce checkout and cart pages using the free Translate Press plugin. At the end of this video you'll be able to translate the rest of your source content as well, but if it makes sense to you, you can decide to only translate these pages, leaving the rest of your store in a single language. So let's get to it! If you're only looking to translate these pages into one new language, the free version of Translate Press is enough. So to get started, install and activate the free plugin from the WordPress repository. Once installed, a new Translate Press option will appear under your WordPress settings. Here you'll be able to add your secondary language by selecting it from the All Languages dropdown. Don't forget to save your changes when you're done. If you're looking to add more additional languages, you'll have to go with the Pro version of the plugin, but I'll link a video explaining how to install that version in the upper right corner. Next, with your plugin all set up, make sure to update your site's translations by going to Dashboard, Updates and scrolling down to the Translation section. If there's a button saying Update Translations here, click it so that WooCommerce can import the appropriate language pack to your site. This means that if WooCommerce has already been translated into your chosen language, the default packs that comes with the plugin will be automatically translated to make your job even easier. Now, when it comes to the cart page, there's two states this page can be found in, field and empty. So let's start by translating the field cart. Go to the cart page from the front end, making sure there's at least one product added to it. Then click the translate page button in the WordPress admin bar, opening the translation editor and the live preview of your site. To see which strings have already been added from your chosen WooCommerce language pack, let's first switch the display language from English to our secondary language. As you can see, in my case, most of the text on this page was already available in Italian, but this might not be your case if you're using a less popular secondary language. Here, all I have left to translate is the page name and the product name. To do that, I will simply hover over the text I'm targeting, click the pencil icon and input the translation in the editor to the left. Next, you'll have to repeat this for every piece of content that needs translation on this page. But now, let's say I don't fully agree with the choice of words WooCommerce made when translating their default strings, and I want to edit those automatic translations as well. If you hover your mouse over a piece of content that's already translated, you'll notice that the pencil icon is now green. That's how you identify a get text string that came with the plugin. When you click the green pencil icon, the translation sidebar will now display a translation field for both your original language and your secondary one. This means that you now have the power to edit both languages, even if the original text was not generated by you. Now let's move on to the empty cart. Without even leaving the translation editor, simply remove your item from the cart. This will update the live preview and you'll now be able to translate the text that appears on the empty cart page in the exact same manner I've shown you before. Again, in my case, Translate Press has already imported the translations from the WooCommerce language pack, so I'm pretty much all done here. To finish things out, we are now ready to translate the WooCommerce checkout page. To open the translation editor for the checkout page, we'll use the same approach. Go to your checkout page on the front end and click the translate page button. Now you can translate the checkout page using the exact same process we used for the cart page. When the button is blue, you'll be able to input the translation yourself. And when it's green, the translation has probably already been imported, but you can still edit it if you want to. And that's it! That's how you translate the WooCommerce cart and checkout pages. For more information, check the Translate Press documentation linked in the description below. And for more useful WordPress tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching!